So Miss America has decided to end and get rid of the swimsuit competition. This is the dumbest thing I have ever fucking heard of. Thank you, Gretchen Carlson, you dried up old twat. Because they want to focus on, what do they want to focus on? Like confidence and self-esteem and if they're smart or not. Or Nobody gives a, co- a, a fucking deep fried cockroach's cock whether or not they have self-esteem or not. If, they, if they're willing to go out on national television in nothing more than a bikini, then I guarantee you they've got confidence and self-esteem. I, they're not going to judge co- contestants based on physical appearance. It's a fucking beauty pageant. What the fuck else is there to judge them on? There is nothing. Sure, they get asked their opinions on certain things, like abortion or this or that, which led to a big controversy about 10 years ago. But it's a fucking beauty contest! The fuck else is there outside of fucking... how they look physically? There's not! Otherwise, 300-pound land whales would be there if we could judge inner beauty. And I, while I'm on the topic of this fucking horse shit, if it was a group of 300-pound cellulite fucking bags of Cheetos and fat, and they were wearing bikinis, everybody go, oh my god, how stunning, how beautiful, how brave! But it's because these are actually women that we want to see wearing very little clothing. Then it's evil, sexist, misogynistic, patriarchal, and whatever other bullshit buzzwords that feminism has come up with. But I do want to read a few of the tweets. And we can all marvel at this site for a minute. I'm not sure what the fuck is wrong with Miss New Mexico. Maybe it's bad light. Men are really upset about Miss America getting rid of swims- the swimsuit segment, telling me too many pervs have been watching, which justifies no swimsuits. Maria, if we want to see women wearing nothing, we can. There's porn. And you're going to stand there and tell me that you've never ogled men wearing very little clothing in swimsuits? What the fuck is a bodybuilding competition? What the fuck are fireman calendars? What the fuck are... are well, I think men have swimsuit competitions. Isn't there a Mr. America? Anyway, or challenges any man upset about this, please post a pic of you in a skimpy swimsuit and let us judge you. You might want to actually not do that because you're going to be getting a bunch of fat neckbeards like me that are posting to this thread and not any guy that you actually want to see. Uh, let's see. Don't worry, guys. Upset about Miss America eliminating swimsuit competition. If you want to watch pretty women being forced to wear skimpy clothes, there's always Fox News. I, this doesn't even make any sense. I mean, personally, if I ran Fox News, yeah, Tommy Lauren be wearing damn near nothing. Laura Southern, I don't even know if she's works there, but I'd hire her and she'd wear nothing. And I'd force the two of them to make out. Then maybe I'd watch the fucking piece of shit. And speaking of Miss America, I wish they had a lesbian makeout contest in that son of a bitch. Then I might watch the stupid fucking thing. This guy's bitching about the Puerto Ricans. Again, tell Puerto Rico to vote itself in as a state. They're still an independent country. Sorry, I'm just not comfortable with my child sharing a public restroom with anyone upset about Miss America eliminating... What? Have your drugs kicked in? Anyway, uh... I gotta... Okay, I'll I'll finish up with this one with Parker Mallory. Gotta love all these middle-aged men pretending like they were huge fans of the Miss America competition. Looks like I won't be tuning in this year. You didn't tune in last year either. Give it a well. Actually, I hate to agree with her, but she's actually spot on. Again, if there was a lesbian makeout contest in it, I'd fucking watch the piece of shit. But this is my point. 
Miss America is not a fucking talent show. It's not a, 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 a contest to determine who the fucking smartest or brightest or, or whatever woman in America is. It's, to, to, it's literally to determine who is the hottest bitch America has this year. So, yeah, a swimsuit contest makes perfect sense. But again, I don't watch it. I think it's boring. But, again, I just, I, I hate this. I hate this double standard. I hate, again, the demon is, a, you want to talk about privilege. Fat women have privilege. If a fat woman wears a bikini, she's beautiful, inspiring, brave, and, above, and you have to have a fucking national movement by a dried up old twat named Gretchen Carlson, who hasn't probably been wet down there for 15 years, hasn't been touched by her husband for 13 because Lord knows once a woman dries up down there, she's basically useless. That's a joke. Chill out. <laughs> Women past menopause? Off to the garbage heap! Joke. Chill. But it's a fucking beauty contest. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a talent show. If it was a talent show, and then they had the all the, if it was a female only talent show, and then they had them all walk out in bikinis, I could say, okay, I can see this. You have a point, but it's not. It's a fucking beauty pageant. That's why I'm get so against child beauty pageants. Because yeah, again, it's weird. But these are not children. These are grown adult women capable of making their own choices. If they want to walk out on stage wearing a bikini for 2.5 million people to see, that's their fucking prerogative. I also love this double standard of feminism. Nobody forced these women to do this. Nobody forced these women. To, they all did it. And they had to do it once before when they won Miss whatever their fucking state was. You are aware that this isn't just one contest and that's it. No, they actually had to win Miss Texas, Miss Rhode Island, Miss Louisiana, Miss whatever the fuck. So it's not just a one and done deal, okay? So obviously they're fine with it. But again, no, we, we have to celebrate the 300-pound cellulite bags of Cheetos and fat. So that's my thoughts on this.